the function f is defined by the given equation. The equation can be rewritten as f of x equals 1 plus p over 100 raised to the x power, where p is a constant, which of the following is closest to the value of p. So we're given this equation 1, f of x equals 1.84 raised to the x over 4, and we're told that it's equal to or can be rewritten as, which means it's equal to this second f of x equation. So first thing we can notice is that the exponents are different. Here x, this uh, value is raised to the x over 4 power, and here it's raised to just x. So let's rewrite equation 1 to have just x as the exponent. So we know that 1.84 raised to the x over 4 can just be rewritten as 1.84 raised to the 1 fourth and then raised to the x power. Because when you have a argument being raised to two powers, the powers multiply and x times 1 fourth is equal to x over 4. But now we can see that since this quantity can be rewritten as this, and that they have the same exponents, we can set the arguments inside equal to each other. So here, so 1.84 raised to the 1 fourth raised to the x is equal to 1 plus p over 100 raised to the x. They both raised to the x, so whatever is inside must equal each other. So we just need to solve this equation, 1.84 raised to the 1 fourth equals 1 plus p over 100 to solve for the value of p. So let's just find the value of this in our calculator. We just take 1.84 and we can raise it to the 1 fourth power. And that's just equal to 1.164 or 165 or 1.165. We just, that's probably why they told us to find the closest value since this is a massive unterminating decimal. So we'll just use the three uh, first decimal places. And then 1 plus p over 100. So let's isolate for p by subtracting 1 from both sides. So on the left we'll have 1.165 and on the right we'll have p times 100. Then let's multiply both sides by 100 and so p over 100 times 100 is just equal to p and on the left hand side multiplying by 100 moves the decimal point two places to the right, so we'll be left with 16.5. And if we look at the answer choices, that is closest to A, 16. So A is the correct answer.